Well, I think that, first of all, this is an opportunity for, the, uh, for businesses that are um, uh, registered here in Malta. Uh, it's an opportunity to grow, uh, not just have their activity here uh, in, in Malta, but also to seek uh, to grow elsewhere, basically. Um, in these couple of months that I've been uh, Minister for Foreign Affairs and Trade Promotion, I was positively surprised that the local business community is, uh, first of all, trying to look elsewhere also. So their wish is to internationalize, um, um, but not to the traditional markets. So excluding Europe, uh, they are um, looking to markets that maybe until some months or years ago they were not thinking of trying to do business with. I'm pretty hopeful that with this kind of attitude the Maltese business will grow uh, further. Um, um, our market is what, it, what our internal market is what it is so um, the ambition to grow even further is there and I'm also happy that the local business community is not only um, looking to the, tradi the so-called traditional uh, markets, um, but also to, to markets that we might have some issues because of connectivity, for example. When we visited Ghana in July 2017 with uh, Her Excellency the President, we took with us a trade delegation um, and we were positively surprised with the number of businesses that they wanted to come with us, um, uh, like 25 or so um, uh, businesses that came with us, which for us is a substantial number, um, to a market where it's completely or quite new for us. Um, I know that there were one or two companies already uh, trying to do business uh, in Ghana, but the number for us was a surprise, a pleasant surprise when we requested who is interested, they came uh, to with us. And I know that quite a good number of them uh, returned to Ghana uh, because they were seeing that there were, there were good opportunities to conclude um, agreements with, with the Ghanaians. I'm glad that the companies based here are looking to markets that are um, for us quite new. Ghana is an example, India is another example and when I went to, to India I had a trade delegation with me um, of about 50 companies actually um, and in, in different kind of uh, ec uh, economic activities so it's not a question that you know only certain uh, uh, activities are being um, considered but it's, it's a wide range of from services to, to manufacturing um, now blockchain is becoming uh, a new reality here uh, after the legislation that government enacted as well. Uh, so we are attracting also, but um, we are using this tool also to, 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 to go abroad basically with, with, with this new uh, technology.